Hello, everyone. This is Martin Patella for Life Enthusiast Podcast. And with me today is Dr. Howard Piper. That's P-E-I-P-E-R. Dr. Piper, welcome to the show. Thank you, Martin. I feel honored being on your show. Thank you. The honor is truly mine. You are the one with a ton of experience and the chops to uh, tell us what you know. Dr. Piper has written many books for folks that are wanting to get educated in the ways of natural healing. He comes with a storied history going back to Howard Jensen and the days of my original teachers. In fact, I think we both may be in a similar age group. What do you think? Well, I'll be hitting 80 in a couple of weeks. I'm I'm only 69, so I'm- You're just a kid then. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you for having the head start on me. That's, That's most welcome. You're welcome. You Uh, have uh, written and authored 40 books. Did I get it right? Right. 40, which in in itself is an awesome accomplishment. I'm still working on my first. (laughs) The first one is always the hardest. Okay. (laughs) Anyway, would you mind reviewing a bit of your life for our listeners? Of course not. Thank you. As you mentioned, um, I'm a doctor, a naturopathic doctor. <clears throat> it actually was my, my second uh, career. Uh, I call it my second lifetime. My first lifetime, I was an optometrist for a number of years. And it was really interesting. In 1972, I got to meet Dr. Bernard Jensen. And he was one of my mentors. And he taught me how to do iridology. <clears throat> it's reading the eyes. And being an optometrist and doing iridology, I found like I, I was doing both at the same time and just keeping within the first career. So I had an opportunity of getting my naturopathic license in the early 70s, and I went for it. And I decided in the early 90s to change careers. So I became a naturopathic doctor and living at that time in Florida. And I made a connection working with a magazine called Explore Magazine, which I don't know if it's still around anymore. A wonderful woman named Christine Jackson. And actually, she was up in your neck of the woods because I almost moved to Mount Vernon, Washington back in the early 90s. So we might have been neighbors. And I started writing some articles for her and made a connection with a woman, who, uh, Nina Anderson, who wrote a book on living in a... Um, environment free house and we started corresponding back and forth uh, she was in at that time in Connecticut and so our first book was are you poisoning your pets and then we from there went into a booklet called secrets of staying young this is back in the mid 90s so I'm, I'm aging myself as time goes by the secrets of staying young then we wrote a couple of other books on ADD and our bestseller, which is still a bestseller after all these years, so we're talking about maybe 25, 28 years, is uh, the ADD and ADHD diet book. It's been used by thousands and thousands of, of parents, of mothers, of doctors. Um, it's in, been in Spanish, so I've been down in Mexico many times, down in the whole area of Costa Rica, and people just using that information. Uh, we're going to post the link to perhaps, uh, do you want to sell your books through Amazon or through, uh, through other place? No, we're going to go through Amazon. The books that I'm talking about from the 90s, the ADD book I know is still available, The Secret Staying Young, Are You Poison Your Pet? Amazon may carry it. You may get it through maybe a second seller, but it's not in print anymore. So fast forward, um, so let's say for the past probably 10, maybe 10, 15 years, um, one book, which we'll talk about today, is Zeolite. And I'll explain how I got that information in Zeolite. And then the other book, which we'll talk about in a little while, is called Viral Immunity with Humic Acid. And then the, my other latest book, <clears throat> excuse me, Getting to Know NO, The Nitric Oxide Revolution. Yeah. And then the last book is H2 Water for Life. It goes beyond alkaline water. It goes and talks about hydrogen water. So what I try to find through the years is what's on the cutting edge? What is the latest? 
And what I love about self-publishing, uh, Nina and I have gone our separate ways. So the last 25, 28 books have been, been mine. Self-publishing, so then I'm constantly re revising it. The viral immunity book that I'll talk about, I wrote this in 2003, 2004, and I also had information about coronavirus in it. And so last year with the pandemic, with the COVID, I said, I'm going to bring this up to date. And it's become very popular. It's the same thing with zeolite and the same thing with getting to know the nitric oxide book. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's great. You know, what's interesting about this is that your experience roughly parallels mine. Because when I, I got ill in 1977 with an installation of 12 amalgam, mercury amalgam fillings, and it took me down. I used to be a business consultant, MBA in computer science and, and business administration. And then over the years, my career was successful, but my body was falling apart. And about 10 years in, having tried first the mainstream medical and then the alternative, I spent a lot of money on chiropractors because my body was falling apart. Mm -hmm. And then I spent a lot of money with naturopaths because I was getting allergies and uh, I, I was breaking down in multiple ways. But interestingly enough, I was not getting a lot of help because uh, most of these people were chasing the symptoms rather than asking the end, what is the cause of this? And so my, my story essentially landed on discovering zeolite and discovering that that was the way to get out of the mercury toxicity. So that's kind of interesting that you came to, uh, to discovering zeolite and all of that, right? Well, the, the last probably eight or nine books <clears throat> have been people have contacted me and go, have you heard of... Let's, let's pick on zeolite, for example. We'll talk about the zeolite book. Have you heard about something called zeolite? And I go, no, no, I haven't. And, and I'm the type of person that if somebody knocks three times on my door, I need to answer it, to answer it. So I actually had two other people ask me about zeolite. I was, I was speaking at a health conference in Denver, Colorado, snowstorm. I remember that one, being from Florida. Um, 2003, 2004, and somebody came up to me when I was doing a book signing with one of my books. Have you heard of zeolite? And I go, oh, okay, now this is the third time. Now I need to find some information. What is zeolite? And I started doing some research, started putting something together, and I found some really interesting facts. You know, that the Russians have been using, the Croatians have been using zeolite, farmers have been, ranchers have been using zeolite for all these years. So, so why, why isn't, why isn't it you know, available? Or, or if it's available, where is it at? So I started doing my homework, and that's when I came up with the book on zeolite. One of the main things that I'm really proud of myself is that in all my books, I'm not promoting any products. I don't promote any products in my book. In the back of the book, I will recommend whatever specific product that I've done research and I've done study on. And so I found a company that has the purest form of zeolite powder, and I felt very, very comfortable with it. So the book became popular because people, and I'm probably just as guilty as this, when I had my practice, Okay, we need to go through a cleansing process. We need to go through a detox. It's going to get kind of rough, but this is what we're going to need to do. To find out when I started writing the information about zeolite, hey, forget about the terrible feelings that we we're going to have. You know, the, the healing process is not going to be disastrous. It's a very gentle way of, of detoxifying. And that was the other thing that, because as I'm writing, <laughs> writing this information for the public, I'm also using it for my, for my clients, for my patients when they come in. This is what I've found. This is what I've written. This is what I would recommend. It's a very gentle way of, of detoxifying the heavy metals, of de detoxifying um, the environmental toxins. You, know, you mentioned about the amalgams. So what a beautiful way of gently removing the mercury without interfering, without affecting it all the rest of the body. So a lot of dentists became very interested and say, oh, what is a zeolite? And I got, well, read the book, read the book. <laughs> they got to make some money reading the book. Read the book, and they would understand it. And then I said, this is the company that I recommend that I'm very, very comfortable with, and this is who I would recommend. And 
because I don't sell products. I, I write. Well, fortunately, we have been a distributor of this very same product for since our inception, 2005, I think. Oh, wow. Okay. We, we started, our company started in 1988. That was the Life Enthusiast version one before the internet. The Life Enthusiast 2.0 went online in 2002. And we started out in superfoods and have been using Zeolite as a binder and as mm -hmm. a, a add-on tool. But anyway, I have been uh, recommending that same, same product that you have been recommending. In fact, you have created a website. I think it's called zeolitedosing.com. Is that correct? Right. right, right. Yeah, we'll, we'll link that as well. Because if people are interested, <clears throat> hopefully they'll buy the book, possibly through Amazon. And if they need more information, they can go to uh, zeolite dosing, and that'll explain for maintenance, for children, if it's beyond maintenance, for example, like for candida or for, God forbid, cancer, you know, there's, there are different types of dosages and just to follow that. And that, that's what been the recommendation. Mm -hmm. And with, today, people say, why do I need to read your book? Um, I don't think I have any heavy metals. You know, I eat healthy. I, I drink alkaline water. And I just say, my dear friend, if you live in this toxic world like you, like I'm living in this toxic world, whatever I do, I'm going to be breathing this in. I'm, it's going to be absorbed in my skin. So there's a need for me to go through a detox. It's a need for me is for me to at least take it once a day to help prevent. And um, why wait? Because Dr. Jensen, I've been really blessed with a lot of old timers from the from the 40s and the 50s and 60s, old, old school naturopathy. I mean, the new school, this is great. I love it. But the old school is what I was taught. And, and I love the fact of preventive measurements, preventive medicine, which there used to be doctors like that, preventive maintenance. So if I can say, here's some of the things, especially if I'm doing iridology and I can see what's going on with, within the body, what's the potential of a problem, say, here's my suggestions. This is what I would suggest, because somewhere it's going to happen, the situation possibly, because this is what you have inherited. So why don't we take a bunch of different things, and what a great way to start off with the supplements by taking this great zeolite powder that I recommend in the book to help start to detoxify. Yeah. This is so interesting because my healing process, and it was not easy, was righted when I discovered Jensen and his methods. And I actually studied the iridology. I would call myself a self-study, self right? <laughs> like I bought his booklet and I studied that and I looked at myself and my wife and whoever else I could find and, <laughs> and uh, learned enough to be dangerous. Anyway, so I was using it on myself to self-direct, and mm -hmm. indeed I was able to, to see the changes, and it's quite profound, and it's a fantastically useful tool, right? I have one, if I can share the one famous story of one of my clients many, many years ago, um, did iridology, found there were certain conditions with her eyes, her eye, the iris itself was cloudy, so there's a lot of stuff going on. I put her on some various different supplements and of course the zeolite powder. I would say probably within six, seven months, she came back for a recheck and her eyes were clearer. Her eyes were brighter. The cloudings had gone away. And that's the quickest I've ever seen somebody really, really interact with mm -hmm. the different um, supplements that I had recommended for her to take. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my story of this sort was I'm working with a fellow, I'm looking at his eyes, I'm seeing cloudiness and I'm seeing issues. And he was about 45 then. And uh, I'm saying, you know, you have issues and uh, do you want some information? No, he didn't want information. He died at 65 of prostate cancer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, yeah. You know, it, there, there are predictors, right? It's somewhat prophetic. And you, you already said prevention is the the queen of this whole yeah. uh, realm. Yeah, as a naturopathic doctor, uh, I, I consider myself the messenger. If people are willing to listen, great. If they're not, you know, they... Free, you know. Freedom of choice, right? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, right, freedom of choice, right. 
Mm-hmm. So the, the other thing that meant, meant the world to me was uh, when I discovered humic acid. And, and sure enough, you wrote about it. How did that find you? Well, <laughs> and again, I, 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 I'm telling you the truth with all this stuff, too, is, is that the last you know, few books have been, well, have you heard of this? Have you heard of humic acid? One of my one of my clients had come to me. Have you heard of humic acid? No, um, I, I, I've heard of fulvic acid. I've heard of fulvic acid because there's a lot of minerals in that, and and I believe it comes from humate from the soil. And then, believe it or not, somebody else came in, and, and then I heard at another conference, um, "Hey, doc, do you know anything about humic acid?" And I go, "Uh oh, there's that third time again." So I wrote this back in 2003, I believe it was. Um, I was out in California then. And I found some studies on humic acid. In fact, there was even one study from the NIH, which I have in the booklet. That's very, very powerful, saying the NIH agreed with the humic acid, what it can do. It works great as an antiviral. And of course, at that time, I was the RNA and DNA viruses, coronaviruses, and so I put the book together and it became very, very popular, particularly in California. The health food stores were just, I mean, it was a little book, like a little 395 book at that time. And people were really, really interested in it, especially when we're talking about the HIV virus and other different viruses, like hepatitis virus. Um, then when last year, when the pandemic and the COVID, and they're talking about coronavirus, I go, hey, wait a second. <laughs> I think I wrote something about coronavirus and I found an old booklet and I could, I did, I talked about this in 2003, 2004 with SARS. So I brought it up to date, brought it up to date. And now this has become very, very popular. Again, it's an educational tool like my zeolite book, all my books on nitric oxide and the secret of staying young. These are all tools of, of information. Here's the way to educate yourself. Okay, how you make your decision, that's up to you, whoever you is. And, and for me, I, I write this information. Um, I have research within the, the information on the, on the viral immunity with humic acid. And the ability that what it can do as an antiviral is absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. Mm-hmm. Have you done much uh, searching or testing about the various sources of humic? I have. And... Uh, <laughs> Sad to say, I've only found a couple of companies that I'm really, really comfortable with. And I have one of them in, in, in the back of the book. Mm-hmm. And yeah, then, I, I don't know if the one that we use most has been, well, you probably haven't seen it. So maybe I need to send you some uh, samples to try, or I don't know what that would look like. I'd love to. Yeah, pl- please, whatever you want me to, to take a look at. I'd be, I'd, I'm, I'm a good guinea pig. I'm glad to... Uh, be, to help you with this and if you if you found something that uh feels right okay you, I, I can well, always tell, tell um, how do you discern good one from a bad one well it number one it depends where the source is i've only found two manufacturers let's say manufacturers two manufacturers that make a clean humic acid strictly humic acid and use as an antiviral uh, when people say, well, I have humic and fulvic acid, well, for me, if I'm concerned about an antiviral, I want strictly humic acid. And let's see where the source is coming from. Fulvic acid, honestly, um, I'm not impressed with it because there's a lot of other trace minerals that are out there that are just as good as fulvic acid. So if I want to focus strictly as an antiviral, then I want specific type of humic acid that will actually encapsulate it. And, and, and trap the virus so that it's not absorbed into the cells. Do you want to reveal some of the secrets of the humic, or shall we just say go buy the book? Ah, no, I love that. Go buy the book. Actually, um, and I think I believe you carry this product. I took the combination. Yes. Of zeolite and humic acid, we found zeolite for Norwalk virus. Uh, uh, not, okay, the Norwalk virus for the humic acid, these are people that are going on a cruise and people that end up getting food poisoning and or they get maybe a little drink too much and they have a problem. So the company that I recommend with the zeolite from the zeolite book has put together a product yeah. called zeolite and I really like that. For me, um, I tell people, 
buy a bottle, put it in your shelf, just like a bottle of aspirin. You're gonna buy a bottle of aspirin in case you get a headache and get something not feeling good, you have that aspirin. Buy a bottle of, of the combination of zeolite and humic acid, put it on your shelf. As soon as there's this itchiness or scratchiness, you know, take a couple capsules and it'll really help with that. Or if you're traveling, and today I do everything via Zoom, so I love that, I don't have to travel. When I was doing a lot of traveling, I always took a bottle with me because I'm going to be on a plane, I'm going to be in a hotel, I'm going to be in a conference, even though, quote unquote, it may be a health conference, there's still, there's still a lot of sick people there in the health conference. So I take that with me. That That's my bottle of aspirin that they tell people to, to get at least a bottle of that. Yeah. Yeah, we will, I will put the link to that very product you're talking about, right, by the show notes. Great for traveling, absolutely. Um, for, for the kids um, in school, teachers, I, I've had a lot of people times, a lot, a lot of times at my, my talks, teachers come up to me and go, what do I do to help prevent? Um, I, I love my children with their snotty little noses and their coughing and their sneezing. What do I do to prevent myself? I said, this product of the zeolite and the humic acid is a great product to take. Take a couple in the morning, take a couple in the afternoon to help prevent. And if you start feeling it, what the kids are giving you, maybe take a couple more. Prevention. It, it's, that's the whole bottom line of all my books is prevention. Mm -hmm. Indeed. I'm looking forward to maybe setting up another talk with you when we get to explore the maybe the no and the water those are also topics dear to me and sure. we um i mean we do carry water structuring tools the uh, structured water or energized water it has thousand different names the chemist says it's h2o what's your problem i say well you perhaps don't understand how the molecules relate to one another right. so anyway i'd i'd love to uh, talk to you about that some more sure sure so, glad to so for now, let's just not overstretch the talk. Okay. Let's just uh, say this. If you want to keep your health, and if you want to look as good at 80 as Dr. Howard Piper, <laughs> then you probably need to practice what he's preaching. You will find link to the books and links to the websites and links to the products in the show notes. I, I would like to close... But thank you very much, Dr. Howard Piper, Piper. And this is Martin Pitella for Life Enthusiast, where we restore vitality to you and to the planet every day.